All right. So we are going to be talking about ref, const ref, and immutable ref. So what do we mean with this? Um, with the reference, let's say you have a contract that says, I want to access some data, and I can modify it. This is super easy. You write a function, you get a mutable ref, you can, ask, uh, you can modify the data, and you're good to go. Then your contract changes. You want some data, and you want to promise not to modify it. Super easy again. You get a const ref. Uh, it's your read-only view on the data. You can access it. You cannot modify it. And then you want to have some data, and you want the others to promise not to modify it. And how are we going to do that? Well, if you use const ref, you don't have this guarantee. You can see from the, um, from the code that we are accessing i, uh, and this is generating a compare. Then we're calling a function, and then we're accessing i doing the same check, and we are doing the same check again. And why is this the case? Because from f, we could actually access a global variable, which is our reference, and we could be modifying. So we cannot assume that the function is not modifying the data we have access to. The alternative would be to um, have a value. And in this case, it would work, but then clearly we are going to get a copy of the data every time. So it, it cannot be a solution every time. The other way we can use it is to have the restrict keyword um, to tell the compiler that uh, this is the only way you have access to the variable. It's doing what we expect, but the moment we call a different function, for example, passing the reference to it, our uh, assumption cannot be longer true. And why is this the case? Because we could be passing an integer um, which is modifiable, and the function could be casting away the, um, the const. So how can we find uh, a solution to this? Well, we can create our immutable class. The immutable is going to get the data member. Uh, you see it's const, so this cannot be const away. Uh, const cast away, um, because that's how it's been uh, um, created. And uh, even if you call a function, we know that this function is not going to be able to uh, modify the data. But this is a drawback. And the problem is that the data always has to be const. You cannot create a vector, modify the bit, pass it bit around, and then say, OK, now this is mutable, and I pass it to the function. So what we will need instead is an immutable ref. How can we solve that? Well, that's where I would put the immutable ref if I add it. If you want to find out more about uh, why would you need an immutable ref and when will you will use it, join me in my talk on Thursday about how to handle, how to use dependency injection to uh, write my table software. Thank you. <laughs>